Hello, you've clicked on this video because you're interested in what is it like to teach entrepreneurship to middle schoolers here in Finland. So I've made a three-part series. The second and the third part of this series will be about how to actually apply the curriculum that we're going to talk about now in this first video. Here in Finland, everything you do education-wise has to be based off of the national curriculum and extensive educational research. As every teacher has a master's degree, they should be able to apply different research theories to their classrooms. As I study at the University of Uvascula, I would like to give credit to Migarisku, Aina Kristina Japinen, Yuka Oliva, also there that I haven't met but are in the education department that you can see their TED Talks, which I'll list below just like everything in the description, Alisa Tarvinen, Posse Salberg. They have amazing research, and I've pulled little bits of their theories and a few theories from other researchers to build the curriculum that is needed for teaching entrepreneurship. So keeping in mind that we've taken little bits of theory um, from all the researchers, well, we take those theories to build an environment in the classroom. Um, some teachers and some research would um, stress building tools that the students can use um, or systems or processes. Um, in entrepreneurship, I, uh, I argue that we should um, foster and create an environment uh, and then just let the teenagers go wild within it um, for an hour or two a week. Um, and then they organically build knowledge and products and services um, amongst themselves. Um, so in order to do that, though, um, um, I want to stress one book that would be really interesting for people to read. It's um, How We Learn by a Dutch researcher, um, Koond Ilries. I'm pronouncing his last name wrong, but I'll provide the, the, uh, the link in the description below. Um, um, but what they talk about is, but what they talk about is an interaction between the student um, and the environment, the society around them. So, so that's nice on paper and that's nice to talk about, but what happens if that actually, that in interaction, we could manifest it into um, them creating something for the society, um, not just a one way. So what happens if that student's actually having a true interaction with society not just society always telling the student what to do until they're, until they're 18. Um, so the students are, are able to look out into society and come up with, uh, with an idea, a product or service that would help fix um, a problem that they identify. Um, so automatically from the beginning, we have, to, we have to have the students in an environment where they feel like they are empowered uh, to make the, the learning objectives and, and the frameworks, even though actually as teachers, we have to um, kind of guide them into some of these frameworks. So from the book, how, um, how we learn is, um, is, this, is this framework of having an environment where the students um, can acquire knowledge at the same time, but they're also um, giving things back. And then talking about some of the Finnish um, academia and Posse Salberg. And he talks about in, in some of his videos about changing education from a process and teaching processes and judging students at going through a process. Um, education can be more organic. And that goes hand in hand with the environment that we try to implement in the in a classroom. It's it's like a garden. <laughs> There's an ecosystem. We can't really touch the ecosystem. It's like an aura, but we can measure the soil and we can measure the plants and we can count, count the different species and how much water was put into the system and how much sunlight. But so you can kind of measure an ecosystem. It's like education in the, in the classroom is, you know, we can, we can put these tools and frameworks into them and we can create the, the environment. Um, so a lot of, a lot of the, uh, professors at the University of Uvascova, um, they, 
they really focus on the experience um, the students are having. Uh, not only is education a process, though, they, they think, but it's, it's a lifelong um, process. And a, f a few of them talk about internal um, courage and people being able to be adaptable and flexible. Um, so they're actually talking about human beings and actually human nature in education, not just test scores and statistics and um, this amount of students should be able to test. That, that's kind of put on the side burner and, and what's really focused on in the educational world is um, some of those human traits and the human nature that goes into the learning process. So talking about the, the ideas that's coming out of the University of Uvascular right now, um, you really have to appreciate um, the experience and the environment um, the student is going through. So, and then there's, there's other ideas, um, for example, posse uh, uh, from outside of Uvascula that there's more to, to education than um, just, just the books and just the teacher. And actually, we're not, teachers aren't so almighty. It's, it's a combination of policies and all this. So check out the links in the description. And as we go into parts two and three, and we start talking about things like scaffolding and communities of practice, um, we can really um, see why, why we're trying to use scaffolding and why are we really trying to create communities of practice other than doing different things. It's because a lot of the ideas that are coming from Finland right now are really stressing on the experience in this kind of setting. So if you're looking to create a great group work between your students, um, trying to have them think out of the box. So implementing a few of these ideas, which we'll look into further <clears throat> scaffolding and communities of practice, um, you can really see that it's, there's a lot of research behind these ideas. And then when actually put into practice, um, I think that's what we're gonna see a lot of um, success in Finland in the future. So, um, if you want any specific details, um, if your class is set up, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to go into specific details um, because everybody has different lengths of time with their students in different settings. But if um, you want to talk more about it, please contact me. And if you're in a country where one of the alumni from the University of Uvascula is, um, you can, I'll be happy to get um, you all in touch. Um, so you can sit down and, and talk more. Um, but thank you. Have a good day.